Okay, so when you get your Raspberry Pi, one of the things that you're going to find is that um, it's going to issue an IP address over DHCP, which is great and really convenient, but sometimes we just need to lock this down to make it static. So what we need to do is we need to edit a certain file. So if we first move into the directory slash etc slash network and have a look in there, there's a file called interfaces. If we view this file, we'll see that our interface for ETH0, our only network port, is set to DHCP. Now what we can do is we can use sudo uh, and uh, nano to edit this file. And what we need to do is we need to change this line to be static. And then what we need to do is we need to uh, enter in all the system um, options. Now, below here I've created a, a, a text file which is pre-configured for everything I need. I've got my address I'm going to give the actual Raspberry Pi, the net mask for um, that interface, the network and the broadcast address, and my default gateways IP. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy that. And one useful thing you can do with um, uh, PuTTY is you can simply just, once you've copied something into your uh, into your um, buffer, you can then just right click and it will paste that straight onto the screen. And then going to save that file. And if we then just quickly check that file again, we'll see that Ethernet 0 is a static um, assigned IP address. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start um, a ping to my current IP address and then I'm going to set a ping to my new IP address. If I reboot the box, what we should find oh, is that um, in a moment I'm going to get disconnected from my SSH session. I know that the SSH daemon is then shut down. There we go. That's so SSH daemon is shut down. So I have to close that window. Let's get ready for the new one. We'll now find that dot eight, so the system has rebooted. And now what we're waiting for now is we're going to be waiting for um, dot ten to start to respond. So we'll give it just a moment. Okay, so we now know that the system is responding at dot ten. It's going to give it a couple of seconds to allow any other services that need to start. Okay, so I've got my um, Raspberry Pi clue on dot ten. I'm going to load that session up, and there we go. I'm now connecting to my Raspberry Pi. on a statically assigned IP address. Just to check that everything's still OK, I have config, my IP address is now dot ten, do net stat minus rn, and we see that my default gateway is dot one, and if I try and ping the internet, I still have network access and DNS resolutions all working for me. So that's how you change your IP address. Thank you.